So we're gonna start with a three for one, cut, copy, and paste. Because if you don't know how to do these basic commands on Mac, how are you even functioning in life? Command X will quickly cut any selected material, while Command C will copy the selection, and Command V will simply paste the selection to your chosen location. I say this works to cut, copy, and paste materials because this works not only on selected text, but on files in Finder as well. You ready for more Mac keyboard shortcuts? Then let's go! Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips and app reviews. Today I'm sharing the best keyboard shortcuts for Mac. These are my most used Mac keyboard shortcuts. So let's get back to the list. Being able to quickly bring up your spotlight search will save you a ton of time. Simply hit command and spacebar, and then your spotlight search bar is going to appear. Now this shortcut isn't only great for quickly finding and pulling up apps, it's also great for sums and searching the web and converting currency. What do you know? Another shortcut I use every single day is to quickly find words in web pages, documents, or my notes app. So from a document or web page in Chrome, Safari, or Firefox, just hit Command F to search for a word. All occurrences of that word will be highlighted for you. And like I mentioned, I use this in my notes app too because the default built-in search in notes is gonna search all of your notes. So you can just select the note that you want to search in, hit Command F, and then find the word or phrase that you need. Okay, if you want to quickly zoom in or out on a page, you can do that too. Command plus will zoom in on a page, and then all you have to do is hit Command minus to zoom back out. And if you want to quickly select all, why do that manually with your mouse? If you're not using Command A to select everything in a document, are you really living? No, you're wasting precious, precious time. All right, let's talk about undoing or redoing actions in a snap or keyboard shortcut, as it were. Command Z will undo the previous action for you. And this works, well, basically everywhere on Mac. I use this all the time when I'm editing or in a Google Doc or just existing. But don't worry, you can also redo the undo if you perform that action in haste. Simply add the shift key to the shortcut. So that's gonna be shift command Z and that will redo what you just undid. Okay, if you want to quickly minimize an app or window or all apps and windows, you can do that too. Command M will minimize your current window or current app for you. But let's say you want to quickly minimize all open windows and apps. Just hit option command M to do so. Now keep in mind, this is minimizing them. It's not closing them. Which, of course, you can quickly close an open app or window as well. All you have to do is hit Command Q to close that open window or app. And speaking of quitting apps, if you need to force quit an app that's not responding, because we've all been there staring at the spinning wheel of death, well, of course you can do that too. Hit Command Option Escape and a pop-up will appear showing you all the apps that are running and any that aren't responding. Now you can close the unresponsive troublemakers. Next, you can quickly switch between open apps. This is another one of my most used shortcuts. And in fact, it is literally one of the first things I learned when I switched over to Mac way back in the day. Just hit Command and the Tab key to quickly toggle between all your open apps. And just like you can toggle between apps, you can actually toggle between tabs in Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. So this time you hold down the control button and hit tab to toggle through each, well, tab. Whee, look at me go. And while we're having fun with tabs, you can also quickly open and close tabs. So to open a new tab, just hit command T then if you wanna close the current tab that you're in, the current tab, I will repeat that again, just hit Command W. 
So another good shortcut is if you're browsing a long document or web page, you can quickly jump to the top or bottom of that page. So you can scroll to the top or bottom using the command key and either the up or down arrow. So command up will pop you up, obviously, and command down arrow will pop you down. Okay, let's talk about taking screenshots. This shortcut actually has three options depending on your needs. So to snap a photo of your entire screen, hit shift command three. Now, if you wanna snap a photo of just a particular area of your screen, you're gonna hit shift command four, and that's where you'll be given the snapshot tool. And then from there, you can use that to drag a box over the desired area that you wanna take a snapshot of. And then once you just release your mouse, the screenshot is snapped. Or the third option is you can hit shift command five to take either a screenshot or start a screen recording, which is a pretty neat shortcut. And this last one works on macOS Mojave or later, by the way. And by default, all of these screenshots are saved on your desktop. Okay, now that we've snapped a bunch of random screenshots, let's quickly move them to our trash and empty our trash bin. To move a selected item to the trash bin, just hit command delete and blammo, that item is as good as trashed. Then to empty the trash bin quickly, you're gonna hit shift command delete and your trash bin will be emptied. And remember, once you empty the trash bin, there is no recovering the item. You've been warned. Okay, so now let's say you're in an app and you wanna quickly open that app's preferences. With that app open, just hit command comma and voila, there are the app preferences for you. Okay, did you know you can quickly get a dictionary definition for a word on Mac? Well, you can, and there are actually a couple of ways to do so. So if you're reading an article on the web and you come across a word that you don't know, with that word selected, just hit Control Command D, and you're gonna be given a definition of that selected word. But if you're a huge Google Docs user like me, obviously, there is a different shortcut for you in Docs. So from your Google Doc, select the word that you need help defining, and this time you're gonna hit Command Shift Y. To the right up pops a dictionary definition for you. How neat is that? All right, last but not least, it can be really helpful to quickly bring up your lock screen. Assuming you don't use hot corners, which I have talked about in another video that I will link to down below. Well, you can do this with a few different keyboard shortcuts actually. So the shortcut you use here is gonna depend on your Mac version and honestly on your keyboard as well. My go-to is to hit command control Q from my Bluetooth keyboard to bring up my lock screen, but you can also hit control shift and the eject button or control shift and the power button. That's gonna depend on your Mac version. All three of these things do the same thing. They bring up your lock screen. So those are my picks for the best keyboard shortcuts for Mac. And now I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite keyboard shortcuts? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.